This is going to be a Shein try on haul. As per usual, as you can see in the background, I have also been sucked into that mess of a trial. Um, so I have several categories to choose from dress skirts, bottoms, casual tops, and like fancier tops. I think we're gonna do the fancy ones right now. My idea of fancy is not the same as everyone else's, obviously. They're pretty much 100% crop tops, just like a little bit more complicated. Some of them just have really weird patterns. But yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna pull randomly. So this one. Now the oh, the color the, the the color options that they had were not many. So I went with this obnoxious orange color. Truthfully, I just really wanted to try it on. It is just like a kind of a biker babe top. I think they had it in like black, hot pink. And this maybe they didn't have black, because I'm like, why wouldn't I have gotten the black? I think they had like hot pink and this color left. They had like a lavender one too, but they were all out. So that's unfortunate because I really don't like purple, but I've been on kind of like a lavender kick lately for clothing. So it's just pleather, not lined, kind of like a fuzzy wuzzy underside though. You can already tell this one's going to be a mess. So this is obnoxious, which we kind of knew that it would be. It's kind of baggy here very hot. My house is 90 degrees right now though, so. Um, I tried it with a bra on at first and I looked obnoxious. So now I went braless, but I still look obnoxious. And if I sized up, the waist would definitely be way too baggy. So this isn't the thing, but the color though, if you wore like black, had like black leather pants, Harley Davidson biker crest, right? Right? I feel like that'd be cute. Also, excuse the frizzy, messy hair. I did just wash it. All right, next. We're just going to keep grabbing. Next, let's do this one. I think you're getting sweaty upper lip. This one looked interesting on the website. They had it in black and brown. I went with the brown because it just kind of looked cooler. Though I don't know if it will suit me. So this is like, it's got this crisscross elastic stuff and some o-rings and it crisscrosses in the back and then it's like brown pleather which i thought it looked like a different material online um the straps are adjustable which is good i'm conflicted this one is cool <laughs> it's kind of cool but it is so baggy down here do it on a scooter it is so baggy down here which makes the crisscross action in the back baggy. Cool idea though. Kind of feel like a like a warrior princess in it. You know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool, but not for my body type, unfortunately. Next. Actually, we'll save this one for last because I think I'm definitely gonna have to go for all this for that one. Um, let's do this ridiculous one that I don't know why I ordered it. I don't know why. It's definitely not my style. So, it is this obnoxious, they made it look really cool in the pictures, okay? 
this obnoxious like rave color crazy psychedelic thing and I can already tell it's gonna be too big around my waist All right, I stand corrected. I gotta hand it to this shirt. It fits better and looks cooler than I thought it would. It's pretty neat. It's not so bad. But where would I ever wear it? I don't even go to raves. Um, but it's kind of cool. I don't think that I'm gonna keep it, but it's kind of cool. Don't hate it. Um, this uh, next one. Oh, it's just getting progressively frizzier. This next one is going to make me have heat stroke because it is long sleeves. I don't know why they put the thing with the most fabric in the tiniest bag. This is a long sleeve mesh top with some drawstringies and some little hangy bits but I thought it was pretty cool so let's try it on shall we conflicted again so it's interesting it's neat right but I definitely could have sized up because I have to pull these like all the way tight for it to cover my bosoms and it'd be cooler if these were a little longer what size did i get that in i got it in a small so i probably in the sleeves yeah they're long enough but if they were like a little longer i think that i would like it better so i might try ordering it in a medium and seeing if i like that better see it's like showing the bottom of my bra and stuff up here which is less than ideal Here is another pleather type thing. And I've just been waiting for Shein because they're like bringing back all like the 90s, early 2000s styles. My era. Um, and I'm waiting for them to come out with like a pleather corset top that's dark brown. But they always only have it in black or they only have it in like really weird styles or like an ugly brown this is an ugly brown and it's a weird style but i figured we would give it a shot anyway this one's kind of comical i don't know what body type this was made for but definitely not mine <laughs> when this is a small i believe right oh never mind kind of my bad i got a large I wanted it to be enough to cover the boobs and it would be if it were tighter back here but then everything else is super loose um and this thing like everybody was complaining in the comments that like the buckle would come undone because it doesn't have like a little pokey bit it's just like a fold through kind of buckle but anyway you know I look like look like sad chocolate pudding so that's going to be a no from me. This one is interesting. Now you guys know I don't normally do two tops for boob reasons. But this one is so interesting. It's got like an old timey Victorian scene on it. And it laces up the back and it is pretty cute. Well, maybe I could wear it with like a new bra. I don't know. I don't know. But it's really cute. So I had to try. Finally, this one is pretty cool. Isn't it neat? Do you like it? That's what the back looks like. Cute, right? Definitely think that a nude bra would be better. But I like it. I think it's cool. Tell me you think it's cool. Thank you. Um, I think that we've got... Two, 
Okay, yep. I got one more. And this one is Shot in the Dark. So you guys know every so often I try to take a tube top or something that you can't wear a bra with. And I'm like, maybe I will get comfortable enough in my own skin to go out in public without a bra. And then I try something and then I'm like, that looks ridiculous and flat and saggy. So, um, we're gonna try this <laughs> and see what we think. This is like a, goes down to a V just like this one does. And then it has all these strappy crisscrossies on the back. And that was cute. I'm gonna try it. So we're gonna try. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Kind of cute, right? These are tight. <laughs> They're gonna dig into my body. But, and the back's kind of weird. Yes, look at all my shitty tattoos. But you know, it feels like very like freeing. Sorry, I just ran into my dresser and I might have made a noise. What is that? Feels very freeing. It's kind of cute. I don't know, you can kind of see my tumor indent, which isn't my favorite. But yeah, I don't know, it conflicted. I wish that it was like a little longer everywhere. If that makes sense. Like, I know it's open back, but I wish the lacing details went down further somehow. Anyway, that was, uh, that was that. Thank you for watching.